close up if you haven't heard the Washington Wizards is reported that they're willing to part ways and have a fire sale with everybody including Bradley Bill and John Wall we are back Motor City Sports Talk your boy CJ Goodfellow in the building make sure you check us out on all social media platforms all the links in the description Facebook Instagram Twitter salute to all the brothers and sisters holding us down want to make a donation to the channel that links there as well do we want better share the videos man appreciate everybody for helping us get to over 2,000 subs in just a little, about a month or two, over a year. Uh, it's been a crazy, crazy year. I took a few months off, but we still made it. So, salute. But, say this. Might not be a popular opinion here, but I would trade Andre Drummond in a package for Bradley Bill. Now, nah, I wouldn't trade for John Wall. And here's why. We don't. We already don't have enough shooting in Detroit, all right? We don't have enough shooting. John Wall is going to be going to average start next season over the next four years, I believe. $42 million annually. And with his knee injury and then his lack of dedication to the game or his craft has been reported, he liked to party a lot. I'm straight on him, man. Bradley Bill is about to turn 25 years old, okay? Or is he 25 now? He can shoot. We need shooting. Uh, we need that type of guard in Detroit, all right? He can do what they wanted Luke Kennard to do or what they could have got Devin Booker to do instead of, instead of Stanley Johnson or what they could have got... Uh, uh, they trying to, they could have got in Devin, uh, Devon Mitchell. Okay. You know, and I say why people say, well, Drummond's a beast 2020. The league ain't going towards his type of players. You know, the league ain't, 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 ain't versed towards Andre Drummond. Let me tell you all that right now. Okay. If Andre Drummond, not going to be Shaq, Elijah Wan, Patrick Ewan, David Robinson, and dominate in the block, which he ain't going to never dominate in the block. He ain't going to never become a, a, a great post player. And, and people talking about he should extend his range. You can't extend your range without learning the basic fundamentals of being a great post player. And he can't post up and dominate that way. He just got to – people just say, oh, he got 20 points, 20 rebounds. He a beast. Stats is just so overblown now. All these deep, super analytic stats. He tw he getting 20-20, but we 7-6 or whatever we are. You know what I'm saying? He getting beat up by, by one of the best players in Eastern Conference, Joel Embiid. You know? We need a dominant big guy down there. And he ain't dominant. You know, good to have a rebound. And then he not dominant on the defensive side. He ain't Rudy Gobert. He ain't Clint Capella defensively. All right? Blake Griffin is playing his heart out. He need a ace. You know, he need a Robin to his Batman. And, and Andre Drummond ain't that. He ain't the Robin you need. You got two big guys in a guard in oriented, oriented league now. Right now, it's a wing and guard league right now. This ain't the 80s or the 90s unless you can pay, unless you can develop a Shaquille O'Neal with that type of body Andre Drummond got. You know, Shaquille O'Neal will be a, a 30 and 20 guy every night, probably a 40 and 20 guy every night, especially the way they call these fouls. Bradley Bill is what Detroit need right now. A young guy that's just a little bit older than Drummond. We need a shooter. We need that type of guard, you know, and, and you move on. You know, we know Tom Gores will never trade Andre Drummond. But that's the new move that need to be made. Andre Drummond, we ain't going to win with him in the middle without guard play. We need guards more than we need Andre Drummond. You know? Reggie Jackson, say what y'all want to say. He don't cut the cake. He ain't a starting point guard in this league. Luke Kennard, we don't know what he is, but he always injured. Stanley Robert, Stanley Johnson, he ain't no starter in this league. Reggie Bullock, he ain't no starter in this league. You're not going to win games without guards. How you going to compete? With, with the guards and wings of the East. How you going to compete with Jimmy Butler, Ben Simmons? And, and, and Andre Drummond don't even compete with Joel Embiid. And, and That's the team you got to beat. Okay? You you need you need, you need need guards and wings. How you going to compete with Giannis? How you going to compete with Chris Middleton, Kyrie Irving, the Jalen Browns, the Jason Tatums, the Gordon Haywards of the East, the Kimball Walkers of the East? You know? That's another guy they should be trying to swing and get. But Bradley Bill, if they selling him, you know, they trading him, you buy him. You know, if you got to get Andre Drummond and give up Luke Kennard and give him some draft picks, you go do it because the Pistons are not going to be in a position to get a lot high lottery pick anyway. They're not going to take to be terrible. So you get Bradley Bill and you get uh, uh, Blake Griffin, you ride out with that right now. And if you can get uh, uh, Dwight Howard back, you take what you can get at Dwight Howard just to give you a big man to fill that void right now. That's what I do. I trade Luke Kennard, Stanley, Andre for Bradley Bill, Dwight Howard. You know, whatever else I got to give up. Bradley Bill is a star. He's going to be a superstar. Only 25 years old, I believe. 
You know, you give because you ain't gonna trade Blake Griffin, right? You know, you ain't gonna trade Blake Griffin. You don't want John Wall. No offense to John Wall. Forty-two million per year starting next year. Also, he can't shoot. Also, he had knee injuries. Come on, we know Bradley Beal had a little bit of injuries. You know, him and Blake Griffin be nice together. You could build off of that. You got a guard. You got a nice big man. Now you got to find you a point guard. You know, and continue to build off that. It might not be a popular opinion, but Andre Drummond ain't no dominant big man. He not dominant on the defense. He good on the boards. What what, what this twenty twenty shit got that got the Pistons nowhere. You need a guard. Either you're going to trade Blake or you're going to trade Drummond to get you a guard. They should have traded for a guard to begin with. Oh, when you had Tobias and Avery Bradley, they should have been trying to get uh, um, Kimball Walker in. You know, Dre, and if you want to trade Blake Griffin, so be it. I ain't mad at it, even though he balling out right now. Just You need a guard-big man combination to big, build around, in my opinion. You know, but... Like I say, Detroit fans get emotionally attached to players, man. No matter if you, you bang your head against the wall for 20 seasons, they don't win nothing with them players. They still believe you got to have them players. At some point, you got to switch it up and try something different. All right? And Dre is young. That's true. You know, but guess what? He ain't going to he, he don't fit the league today. He ain't going to develop a post game, and he ain't going to become a shooter. He ain't going to be Brooke Lopez out there shooting threes or Vujovic or uh, Nikola Jokic. You know, that's just my personal opinion. Motor City Sports Talk. Definitely appreciate everybody for coming through. Don't forget to check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Also, you can email me or DM me on all of those social media sites and uh, for, ask for video requests, questions. We can interact, whatever the situation may be. Y'all know what it is. We gone.